Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture is titled Full Moonlight. So what do we see here? Well, here we see an image of the full moon, the brightest phase of the moon, because we are seeing the fully illuminated portion, and there is no dark portion that is then visible from Earth. And today is the first full moon of 2026. Now, this is not an image of that full moon, but is of a previous full moon. But of course, the current full moon will look very similar to this, as we see the same pattern in the moon all the time, because the same side of the moon is always facing toward Earth. Now, there's a lot of things going on around this time. Not only do we have the full moon, but it is also a super moon. And that is when the full moon occurs near to the time of perigee, which is the time in the moon's orbit when it is closer to Earth and will look a little larger and brighter. So if you have clear weather today, take a look for the moon and see if you can tell that it looks larger or brighter. It's very difficult. It doesn't it, be, it isn't a big difference between a supermoon and an ordinary moon unless you saw them side by side, which of course we cannot do except in Im, except in images. But if you go take a look at it, you can see if you can think it might be a little bit brighter. Now, not only does that, but also a few hours after the time of full moon, Earth will reach its perihelion, which is when it is closest to the sun. So around this same same time, the moon will be closest to Earth, the Earth will be closest to the sun, and the full moon will occur. So we've got a whole bunch of things that are occurring right around today. Now, if you want to think about the Earth being closest to the sun, that kind of explains why the distance between Earth and sun has nothing to do with the seasons. And in fact, for those of us in the northern hemisphere being closer to the sun, you would think it would be a little bit warmer. But it is not. We are in the depths of winter right now. So we are much colder, even though we are closer to the sun. And that's because while we are closer, it's only a few percent difference and not enough to make a significant difference in temperatures here on Earth. The seasons are actually caused by the tilt of Earth's axis, which means that one hemisphere is, is pointing toward the sun and one is pointing away. And right now the southern hemisphere is pointing toward the sun. They are in summer, while the northern hemisphere is pointing away from the sun. And therefore we are in winter. So we are in winter heading towards spring in a couple of months and then into our summer. But the seasons are opposite because of the tilt of the earth. Otherwise, if the seasons were caused by the changing distance, it would be exactly the same seasons all over earth at the same time. So that was our picture of the day titled Full Moonlight. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be quasar times four. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.